Alright, good morning YouTube. Um, this is November 720 Sierra. This is Steve and uh, it is Sunday, uh, October 8th, uh, about 11.05 in the morning. Um, the, uh, I, I'm shooting this on a new camera uh, and unfortunately the remote video uh, audio that we had where we put a, a box on the camera and a box on us and it, it sends the video or audio back and forth. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working on this uh, iPhone 8 Plus and we're not sure exactly why. Um, we'll delve into it some more. So I'm trying to uh, do some actually talking to the camera now. Um, and we, I've been waiting for a little, an hour or so because the guys across the street, the lawnmowers were here uh, doing the neighbor's yards and it was quite loud. Probably couldn't have heard me. Uh, I'm not sure how you can hear me now, but we're going to find out. Because um, you're always worried about uh, the dimpling these up here, uh, because you've got to bend the, the aluminum so far down to get it to go in there. Uh, and I, as I did mention in a previous video, you do have to cut down, grind down the female side of your of your dimple die in order to get it to work. Um, some of these uh, ribs inside, uh, you have to do that too. Um, so. Um, don't feel bad if you if you think you have to do that. You do. Uh, okay, so the uh, back side of this I've already dimpled, and uh, let me pull it up so you can see it. Okay, uh, dimpled and and clecoed. Um, it's all been clecoed on the other side. Now, several people have told me uh, when you clecoed the skins to the framework. At a minimum, do every other, or maybe every third on the long runs, but uh, do every other one uh, with Clico. So you're going to use a lot of Clicos here, uh, which is fine. Uh, didn't have to do that much on the framework, but you do on the skins, because you've got to make sure every bit of this is lined up. And uh, uh, one of the things I found, uh, when, when we dimpled the other side, uh, we did have to, these... Um, small little riblets that are rounded in the in the trailing edge, uh, leading edge, um, are hard to get aligned because you have to bend them a little bit when you're when you're doing your dimpling and stuff, so they don't line up perfectly. So, uh, what everybody told me is get yourself one of these little awls um, or a couple, three of them, uh, and I've got some ice picks here. Um, and you'll have to push this down and, and tweak this around a little bit in order to. Uh, get these things lined up um, and we did on the other side but they're all clicoed uh, then we flipped it over to do this side and it became even more difficult um, I was when I first put these in and then lifted up the skin I found that these clicos were not even in into the um, in, into the rib so uh, you're gonna have a hard time doing that I I've, I was debating whether to put these in here to show you um, but I figured I would just tell you about them. Um, and so you're going to need to Clico every single one of these on the, on the uh, uh, leading edge here. Um, and these four, um, all the way around, the, these, these four right here became very difficult to Clico. And I actually had to go down the size in Clicos in order to get them to hold everything in place. And I've looked underneath here. Um, I've got the camera set over where you're seeing it. Uh, not in my hand, so it's on a tripod. So I'm unable to show, lift this up and show you um, what I'm talking about. But when you're doing yours, you'll understand. There's a, there's a um, uh, an area where you um, did a uh, um, what was it? Uh, countersink. You had to countersink these four, uh, and there's 16 of them. So on two on this side and, and two on that side. And, and then it became hard to get them to, to, to hold correctly when you're, when you're clicoing. Um, so that's what I found I had to do. So that's why I'm letting you know. Um, so um, as you're putting the skins on, now I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clico this area for you now on, on camera. I'm not going to do this one. Um, now the underside of this one's been done, but the top side of this one has not. And the reason is because uh, we, we went ahead and ran the the wire through here um, <coughs> and um, sling tells you to uh, open that hole up uh, a little more to uh, 
Uh, and I give, I think, 9.5 millimeters or something like that. Everything's in millimeters. So I had to convert it, which is basically 3 8 of an inch. So I took my 3 8 drill bit in there um, and put it in, and it was wide enough. I did not have to do anything. And then I thought, okay, um, I put the grommets in there, and I would need to put some soap on there in order to get them to squeeze through. Um, I'm not so great at some of that stuff, and, and my wife came out, and, and she didn't have to use the soap. So the grommets fit in there. You just have to squeeze them real good, but they did fit in there perfectly, and it did not have to open up the hole, uh, as the instruction said. So, And then I just fed the wire through, um, and, and through this hole here, but now I have to create a standoff um, because otherwise that cable, this is just going to rub and vibrate and it's going gonna, it's gonna to cut the wire. So I have not created that standoff yet, so therefore I'm not going to finish um, putting this side down, nor am I going to rivet it yet. Um, I'll probably do some riveting uh, on the second half of this video today. I'm just going to Clico this all down. Uh, now and stop the video and then probably turn it on this afternoon when I'm getting ready to rivet all, all of this uh, on this side but probably not that side. I may do the other side of it but not this side. I want to make sure that I can still open it up to get in there and, and get what I need to do uh, done. So that's why I want to let you guys know. Okay so let me come over to the other side um, and uh, shake this out. Now uh, I did have a friend who has a sling already built, a sling 2, and he said when you start, start in the middle and work out, so put here and then work back this way, put, he said start here and work this way. Um, so I was trying to start here and it just nothing was lining up, so once I started this and went to this one and this one and this one and this one, everything lined up. Uh, and the, the same, same for over here, so I'm just letting you guys know, okay? So I'm going to take this out because you can see you sometimes need to move this stuff around a little bit uh, to put those clicos in. And you'll have a little thing and you can tweak this stuff around a little bit to get all the holes to line up. And, and that's perfectly acceptable to do. Alright, and now with these sections, I'm going to do them uh, every other one. Uh, they are sometimes a little tough to get in, but um, I don't see anything so far that is um, out of alignment. Everything looks good. Um, these all have been dimpled. Uh, and oh, and the other thing is, I'm, I did go ahead with this uh, 3M. Um, Let's see, it's a hand pad, Scotch-Brite 3M. Uh, they are 7447 Pro, um, and the, the product number is uh, 64926. Uh, Scotch-Brite Scotch -Brite Finishing Strong Pads. Um, and Evan in his videos always says uh, to take these and scuff all along where you are going to um, dimple uh, and, and Clico. Uh, I've already pre-done this on these skins, um, so I don't need to do it again. I'm sure you've seen people scrubbing like this. Uh, so it's already been done on these, and um, but you do that in order to get the paint to set and the primer to set in there correctly. So uh, that's something you'll see on, on Evan's videos, but I, I wanted to show you that I've already done that on these skins already. Make sure you push all the way in on these clicos uh, to get them to uh, seat in there correctly. And here, if I skip that one, that's the one that's in alignment with this, I will probably just do three across here. In fact, I am going to do three across there uh, to make sure that I get all these right.
not done these back here yet, um, but I can. Uh, it looks like everything is already lined up pretty well here. Let me see if I can go back to these a little bit here. up so um, don't feel bad if you, if you need to do that a little bit uh, to, to get these skins down in there correctly um, and then I've got to move this over a little bit so I can come up this way because these these are off a little bit um, but I can I can get them to line up by doing this so don't feel bad that you need to do something like that because you do all right let me put some more in here lining up. And I'm going to do all these, so I'm going to need more of these glucose. So I'll just get some more out. And when you think you have enough glucose, you probably don't. you guys are getting the idea. Let me put another one up here and see if I can get this in alignment. Uh, there we go. Okay. So you'll see you do have to do this uh, to get these into alignment. Uh, but it sure makes it nice when you do. And every, everything is well aligned. And you'll be happy with it. And then, of course, you can go through and do your riveting uh, and into every other one, and then come back, take the clecos out, and rivet the rest of it. So far, I have not put a single rivet into a dimpled hole yet, but that is coming. And of course, it requires. Um, different set of Clico, uh, you know, rivets, 3.2 10 millimeter countersunk rivets, multi-grip, uh, part number 989, we'll be going into these um, probably in the next video which will come up this afternoon, but I just want to show you 
and talk to you about the decoing uh, because this is important. And you do really have to go um, every uh, other one or at least every one. In some places I recommend doing every one, like here and here and here and here, uh, just to keep everything well aligned. And you'll see that on your, on your own aircraft as, as you do that, uh, that you'll need to do that. It's not just stick one here and one here and a couple in here. No, do quite a bit of it because it has to be aligned correctly. aligned and all of these aligned and then all of that becomes much more aligned as you're doing it. So that's a, a good bonus to the, all of this. <coughs> but as you know, you can never have enough clicos or too many clicos. It's true, this was not very aligned. I was squeezing it to get it in line, but as I come back with all of these Clicos, everything is starting to line up uh, correctly, which is good. Clico into it. So even when they're right next to each other, some of these are going to need to align as you go. are almost now completely aligned so I'm going to start driving these in back here uh, so for you to see but let you know that, that most of these are now in alignment whereas before they were not. Pretty soon you'll start to uh, figure out, because in the beginning you're looking at this going, what's the difference between a 3.2 and a 4 millimeter? Because you know, they're hard to see. Uh, but now that oh, you've been doing this a little bit, uh, you can start to see the difference. Although some of them are still tight. Some of these, I may be off on my measurements. 
Um, let me see. Take that out. What did I use over here? Oh, I used one. Okay. There we go. us uh, why we use Clicos and you talk to people and you say oh yeah just line up one in, one hole at the one end and one at the other end and it is not quite that easy If you have any other builders in your area that uh, are building, uh, don't forget, you can share Clicos. Uh, Drew just brought me over a couple of, of uh, cases more. Well, I won't say cases, but he, he measured his by the pound. Um, so they're up there on the shelf in case I need them, but I'll use mine first. And then if I need them, then uh, I, I can uh, I'll use some of his. He finished his build, but uh, doesn't really need them anymore, but he still wants to keep them on hand for other people to loan them out. So, okay, so this one is fully Clico now. Everything is in alignment. Uh, and uh, I, when I, I looked underneath as you, uh, on this and this, I looked underneath before I started the camera to make sure that everything was, was grabbing and everything, and it is, so uh, we're okay now. Uh, but in the beginning it was not. So if, it's, if yours is not, don't worry about it, you'll get there. Um, remember to uh, start here. So I started here, I went this way, and then it's not the way you do it. You start here and go down, and you line it up uh, as you go. And you'll use something like this, and that's fine. So now this thing is entirely done. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to do this one just yet because of the wire. Um, I, uh, I have done the other side. Uh, off camera, but I wanted you guys to see how this was done. So, all right, that's going to be it for now. I'm going to go over and stop the stop this video. <coughs> uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please, uh, I hope you guys are subscribed, um, and please put a thumbs up and like the uh, video. Um, and uh, please share it with your friends so that all of us in the Sling community can support each other by subscribing to each other's channels uh, and helping to uh, uh, see what, what each other are, are uh, building and, and trying to build. Uh, I'm trying to uh, subscribe to everybody, all the Sling people's channels uh, on mine so that hopefully my mine links to, to yours uh, and links link to mine. All right. Uh, Let's see, what else do I need to cover today? Um, um, I'll send this to Sean, and he can start editing it. And hopefully the uh, audio is good, so I don't have to redub over top of it. Um, there'll be another video coming out uh, this afternoon. Well, it'll be my, my afternoon, probably 
a week or so before Sean edits it, edits it and gets it up on the on the on the channel, um, where I start to do some riveting in here, uh, on, and on probably both sides of the swing today, which will be very satisfying because I'll get some rivets down in the, down in these divots, uh, dimples. Um, like I said, I do have a whole uh, video coming out on dimpling, and Sean's working on that now. He probably got to send it to me to overdub because I thought our audio had worked, but it didn't. We're still working on it, having trouble with it. Um, not a tech geek, so, you know, what can I say? All right, well, thank you all. Um, oh, uh, in, in my, um, as we all know, uh, building airplanes is expensive, uh, and we all need help to help each other. So uh, down in the description of the channel is a link to my Go, uh, GoFundMe page and the Build, uh, something Build, Send, Go or something. It's not Build, Fly, Go, that's, that's, that's uh, uh, Gall, uh, who's building RV-10s. But he has a lot of really good information for, uh, for us to use in the Sling community. Um, as far as avionics, the Garmin panels, he's wiring himself. Uh, and he has a, does a lot of uh, video stuff on his airplanes and the, and the mounts that he uses and talks about it on his RV-10, which is basically the same thing we're, we're going to use on our, on our Sling TSIs and Sling High Wings and uh, uh, Sling 2s and, and our Sling aircraft. So um, uh, the High Wing actually gets a little bit easier to, uh, I think, to uh, do some uh, camera mounts, but uh, Sling TSI is a little bit harder. All right, um, working on that, and we'll probably have a video on that at some point. Now, um, uh, Gall at Build Fly Go is, is about to release a uh, whole video on antennas, which I'm looking forward to um, to seeing because uh, my uh, fuselage is quote unquote on the water. Uh, so uh, I'm hoping to get these through before the fuselage comes, but if not, it's no big deal. I'll put it on the floor here uh, and build it as we go. Uh, but that's going to be the majority of all of our builds uh, is the fuselage. Evan said about 80% of the build is in the fuselage, or your time is in the fuselage. So that's why I ordered it now. I've spoken about that in earlier videos. Uh, the wings are going to be last. Everything else will be before that. So if you have any questions, uh, give us a call. Uh, please uh, 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 like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And anyway, have a good day. I'll talk to you all later.